What's going on? It's Dan French, LV Crib Tours. I'm over here landings at Copper Ranch, KB Homes. We're going to look at the 1590 property today. You guys know, subscribe, like the channel, hit the notification bell. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys around Las Vegas. This channel has a lot to do with touring on homes. Really, that's mostly what it's about. Uh, I'm going to start doing some live streaming, things like that about homes and things that maybe people have questions on. But I want to look at this property today. It's uh, 1590 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath two car garage you see the pavers you're gonna have options for elevation spanish colonial tuscan a tuscan with full height stone which will go all the way to the top and then italiante right and it's going to be option a b and e so let's talk a little bit about where we're at with this and uh what i expect on this house uh this one is the most and i would say the least upgraded home so you're really going to see what you would get without showing the upgrades on the other properties that we saw. So let's go in and take a look at 1590. All right, so as you can see, all the landscaping and things that you see right here that's not gonna come with this, this is all put in. Now the pavers, you do have an option for that. You can see right here, this is the pavers and they're building like crazy over here. So let's go in. Uh, this is not as high of a, of a door. This looks a little bit lower. This might be an eight foot door. The other one, maybe a seven foot door. This is 1590, this is the standard. So it's not gonna be as, as glamorous and set up like the other one was. So let's walk in and you're just gonna have your three and a half inch baseboards on this one right not a very open floor plan this right here is going to be your first toilet right here private toilet this is going to be for guests standard sink standard faucet right no upgrades no this is going to be pretty much the least amount of upgrades home that you're going to see this is the tile the standard tile you would get you can see it right here on the floor this is the eight foot ceilings and I can tell it feels a little bit more dense, right? It feels a little bit like I don't have as much room. I feel more claustrophobic, um, but you know, it is what it is, right? So if you come in here, I like the windows, nice open windows. Like you said, there's Walmart right there. You can see Walmart, a lot of uh, area over there for hiking. There's Southern Highlands. That's where I live right over there as well to the left. So very nice home. You're looking at the kitchen and this is your standard Whirlpool you know, appliance, so you, again, two year warranty. Look at the cabinets, that's your standard colored cabinets. This is what you're gonna get if you don't, if you don't change things. Uh, no hardware, very basic, very bland. You have an option for quartz. This is a quartz countertop, but it really comes with granite. So you're gonna get two options for granite. We showed you those, um, and that's gonna be like a white and almost like a, like a peach or a beige look to it. So that's your options. And then no island kitchen. This is just your standard faucet, mowing faucet, and then everything else just looks very, very basic. No backsplash. So again, as we keep going down the row, I told you the first one we saw was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Now this one does come with a bigger backyard. So you, it's kind of a trade-off. You can see it has a little bit more room, but even in this backyard, it's not, I mean, I'm not overly impressed. These new homes just don't come with a big backyard. You have dogs that want to run, I mean, they're literally running from side to side. They're not going to. They're not going to have a, a, a pretty decent sized yard to work with. So, um, this one doesn't have a, a patio cover. It does have pavers. You can get that. But all this landscape, everything you see in the back, will not come with this house. So you can see that. And over here, we'll go ahead and take a look at the pantry. If I don't look at the pantry, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, that's the garage. There's a tankless water heater out there, I believe. Here's your pantry. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Looks, looks all right. I mean, but look at that. I mean, how are you going to get back there? What is that? I don't, I'm not really a fan of that either. Hmm. Different. I like the living room. It's open. You got a little bit more, have more options for this type of living room. So there's nothing wrong with that. The dining area is decent. And I mean, you can, this is not an island here, but at least you have places to sit when you come down and eat. If you have company over or whatever it is 
Let's go ahead and go upstairs. This right here is gonna be your closet. So if you're gonna hang some clothes or do what you need to do, there's your closet. And let's go ahead and go upstairs. Da -da -da -da. Again, I'm doing I'm doing probably wood for uh, vinyl flooring. I'm not gonna do, or even tile's good, but they're gonna have tile options for all the wet spots. So this loft, a lot smaller. Okay, there's not really a loft actually. This is just an area where you can maybe place a desk. That's about it. And you gotta walk right past it. So I guess that's your office. And then here's your owner suite. We'll go right into this here. Same size, about 15 by 15. Not overly impressed with the owner suite size of the room. Decent size though. And then you have your linens. That's pretty good size linens, 42 inch. And then you got your shower enclosure, but 42 inch tub. So, but you got your basic hardware, you know, that's what you're gonna get. If you don't get any upgrades in hardware, that's what you're gonna get. And look at the quartz looks good. I like it, but man, those uh, cabinets, not a real fan. Just not a fan of it. They do have water saving features on this house throughout. And uh, so we have all this here. And this is your walk-in closet. It's a nice, pretty good size walk-in closet here. Let's come back over here. That's a pretty good size owner suite, but not overly impressed with it, to be honest. But I mean, we're working with 15, uh, what is it? 1590 square feet. Here's another bedroom, but man, this is a small room. This has gotta be an eight by 10 room. I mean, literally I can take four steps and I'm across the room. Walk-in closet, but man, they don't got any room in these, in this one. But I mean, look, you're at $500,000 in Southwest, which is a decent area. I mean, what do you expect, I guess, right? Linen's closet. It's just, they just keep getting smaller though. Look at this. I mean, this has got to be an eight by, maybe nine by nine room. You barely have enough room for a bed in here. Good luck on a TV. Like if you have a TV right here, you're going to be ducking your head. Eight foot ceilings. Mm. I don't know. It's good for a kid's room, I guess, right? So maybe, maybe that's what it's set up for. But when you get kids that are, you know, teenage years, that is not going to work. Okay, so coming over here, this is nice. You got your washer dryer set up. Very basic, it's upstairs. And then over here you have your just, your basic bathroom. You got your standard tile, 18 by 18 inch tile. And your enclosure is standard as well, including the hardware for this shower enclosure. So yeah, I mean, like I said, this is what you're gonna, this is the house you're gonna get. If you get no upgrades and you come in here to KB and you say, I want no upgrades to this house. So what you're gonna get. So I'm not sure, you know, if you're excited about it. Um, I think if you're somebody that wants to get into a brand new home and you're wanting to, you know, get started, I don't think that's a bad idea. I really don't. But I'm probably going to have to put some upgrades in, in these houses. I can't, I can't really deal with this standard look, especially this kitchen. I mean, that brown has got to go to me. And it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right with the appliances. It just looks off to me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. Okay, so where do I start? Um, not impressed. I like the home. I'm not impressed with the home. If I'm trying to buy a new home, I would for sure consider buying this home. But if I have options out there, I'm probably not going for this one. This is not a popular floor plan, by the way. Um, the first one we went into was really popular, 2469. You know, and you look at these prices, these homes, you know, starting out, you got your price range of like five to six to 600,000. You got three options. We talked about it. Um, I just look at it and say, if I'm starting out on a home or if I'm, you know, living in an older home and I want a newer home, nothing's going to break down. I'm definitely going to buy a home like this. Now, for me, I'm looking at builders and builders right now are really helping out They're They have incentives and things that they can help you with on closing costs. Uh, they're looking at slashing any lot premium, especially here at KB, because they just don't have the amount of clients coming in. That's if you get, you know, pre-approved with their builder. Uh, a lot of the upgrade stuff you're seeing here, you know, in the first house, not here, this one doesn't have any, you're adding about 30 to $50,000. Now for me, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it because I want a house. If I'm going to buy new, I'm going to buy something that I want. I'm not going to come in and, and, you know, go cheap on, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't, again, I'm not going to overpay for things either though, that maybe you have somebody come in and do. Like somebody can come in and put in the backsplash. 
Somebody could come in and put in, you know, wood flooring or tile at a discount. Maybe you get the carpet, because it doesn't come this way. It comes with carpet in the living room. You're only gonna get tile up until you get to that area where the, um, the stairs go up, you know, but that entryway, and then also into the kitchen, you're gonna get tile. But in the living area, it's gonna be carpet. So for me, like I said, I would definitely consider buying this house. I, I'm not in love with this house whatsoever. I don't like the layout of the home, but I also understand, you know, and you're gonna, you're gonna have some options here and you can change things up. Really what they said at the sales office, you can get anything you want. So what I recommend is giving me a call. I will come down here if you guys, not just this home, but any home, but if you wanted to look at your options, give me a call, I'll help you out. We'll go through the process. If you need me to FaceTime or do whatever is needed, I'm that guy, right? I'm the guy that's gonna roll up my sleeves and work hard. I'd love to earn your business. I work with Key Realty, and uh, I've been doing this thing for over 13 years now, helping people find homes, get into homes, uh, and I've done all facets. So if you guys have any questions, reach out to me directly. You have all my contact information in the comment section. LB Crib Tours is my channel. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this uh, video. Also subscribe, like I said, I think I said it like four times. <laughs> but subscribe if you can, that's five. And then uh, that's it. You guys let me know. We'll see you guys at the next one. I love working for, uh, for you guys out there and rolling up my sleeves, like I said, and working hard. We'll see you guys at the next one.